quantum world from smaller to smallest. Earthquakes strike ants far more frequently than humans, and it's all because of us. Consider how many bug houses we ruin simply by existing, that is something we frequently forget. What do you suppose you're not aware of? Hello and welcome to Z. In this video, we try to go on a four-dimensional adventure and live like those sad invisible animals. Subscribe the channel and follow us. The universe is an incomprehensibly vast and strange place. It contains innumerable galaxies, each with billions of stars and planets. However, it is also incomprehensibly minuscule and invisible. When we turn our sight from the vastness above to the infinitesimally small below, the universe appears even more wide and intriguing. Miniature World Consider standing in a park with a thousand meter length that would normally take roughly 15 minutes to walk across. But now let us blink twice and shrink a thousand times smaller. Welcome to the world of miniatures. So, first and foremost, you may be wondering how big you've grown. You're just an ant. Look around you and see how the grass blades soar above us like skyscrapers and how even the smallest stone appears to be a mountain. The air appears to smell cleaner, and the sound of birds singing is amplified to an extraordinary degree. As we begin to walk, we realize that traversing this park in our smaller state will take us hours, if not days. We may even come across previously unseen creatures, such as our fellow ants who suddenly appear to be our pals, or microscopic organisms that are ordinarily too small to view. A grain of sand grows to the size of a rock. In this little universe, the opportunities for adventure are limitless, and our imagination can lead us on adventures beyond our wildest imaginations. As you try to flee this oppressive environment, you see that the air has turned into a thick, sticky substance. Moving through it feels like you're walking through honey. Insects, on the other hand, use the dense air to their advantage, propelling themselves ahead with paddle-like wings. A scaled-up bee could easily outrun a Concorde jet, a feat that its real-life counterpart would find unfeasible due to weight limits. Microscopic World And let us continue on our journey, blink twice more, and we've entered the microscopic realm. You shrunk to the size of an E. coli bacteria, a tiny two micrometers. The once vast park has shrunk to a million kilometers in breadth, a trek that would take you 25 years to complete on foot. In this microscopic realm, a gigantic bee transforms into a mountainous structure resembling Mount Everest, buzzing and throbbing with life. The air is dense, almost viscous, obstructing your every movement. Grass blades extend beyond your field of vision, representing enormous vistas like Paris to a normal-sized human. And within this seemingly empty landscape, you'll find a slew of individual cells, each resembling a dwelling with a glass-like facade. Stomata, which look like gaping mouths, puncture these cells, inhaling and releasing oxygen. Suddenly, the giant insect begins to move, showing its sophisticated structure, which resembles a suit of armor. It takes flight to avoid a droplet of water the size of an asteroid rushing toward you at breakneck speed. The anticipated collision turns out to be a suction, drawing you into the droplet. Swimming becomes pointless as the water adheres to your limbs like adhesive. Air molecules, which were formerly free spirits, now appear to be social animals, banding together and forming a force that binds you within them. Tens of thousands of microorganisms of diverse shapes and sizes can be found in this miniature lake, including viruses the size of tennis balls and Euglena oxyuris cells that glide by like freight trains. Oily jellyfish-like animals propel themselves using lengthy tentacles that act as supercharged propellers. Molecular World Now let's go even further into the world of molecules. With two more blinks, you'll be the size of a molecule, measuring less than two nanometers. To a regular-sized human, the water droplet that surrounds you becomes as large as the moon. Can you even imagine it? Every realm appears to have its own definition of a moon, in my opinion. The blade of grass beneath it runs from Alaska's tip to Australia's tip. 
The entire park, which is now nearly the size of the solar system, is teeming with molecules and atoms. I guess we'll need rocket ships to get around. The hard walls of grass cells pulse, pulsing with energy waves. The droplet itself includes an astounding amount of water molecules that are always in motion, colliding at extraordinary speeds. This ferocious action is caused by heat, which causes molecules to vibrate, twist, and clash incessantly. In this domain, temperature indicates the average speed of these energetic dancers. A particularly powerful collision drives you out of the water droplet and into the air in an unexpected change of events. The space between air molecules is a vacuum, which is a startling discovery. Despite appearances, molecules and atoms occupy only a small portion of the volume, leaving 99.9% .9 of the volume unoccupied. Subatomic World Finally, let us enter the subatomic realm with one last blink. What have we got here? The concept of scale becomes nonsensical at less than 2 picometers in size, which is equivalent to 1 trillionth of a meter. A human would tower above you, stretching their arms from the Sun to Saturn, a distance of approximately 1.4636 billion kilometers in equivalency. Once the center core, an atomic nucleus shrinks to the size of a grain of sand that fits on the tip of your finger. This tiny grain carries an incredible 99.97% of the atom's mass, with the remainder forming the electron cloud, a sphere of influence that resembles the Eiffel Tower from your vantage point. Electrons, elusive and always changing, dart around outside the nucleus, causing a vibrating, dynamic chaos. Atomic nuclei, disordered and fuzzy, twist and vibrate at an astounding velocity. Their enormous energy resembles the power harnessed in nuclear bombs. But is that all there is to it? It appears that your last blink will not be your last. Quarks. Let's see how far we can go now. Our final destination will be the foundation of everything. Let's go one step further into the realm of particles and discover the tiny wonders known as quarks. These ultra-small particles are nearly invisible, but scientists have devised creative methods to demonstrate their existence through experiments. Quarks are the master builders of protons and neutrons, the atomic nucleus building pieces. These oddball quarks are fascinating since they have strange properties such as a fractional electric charge and they're always hanging out with their quark pals. So let us get enthusiastic about these tiny yet powerful particles. The quark world is interesting, full of unusual and exotic particles that scientists have been researching for years. These microscopic particles are so minute that they cannot be seen with the naked eye, and they are extremely elusive, necessitating the use of specialized tools and techniques to study them. Despite this, scientists have learned a lot about quarks over the years, and their discoveries have helped to change our knowledge of the cosmos we live in. So what are quarks exactly? They are in essence the building components of matter. They are present inside protons and neutrons, the two types of particles that make up an atom's nucleus. Quarks have a radius of around 10 to 18 meters and come in six various flavors, up, down, charm, weird, top, and bottom. These tastes are similar to the several sorts of ice cream available at an ice cream store, each with its own distinct qualities and properties. One of the most intriguing aspects of quarks is that they have fractional electric charges, which means they only carry a fraction of the charge that an electron does. This is in contrast to the charged particles we encounter in our daily lives, which have either a positive or negative charge, such as a proton or an electron. Quarks are never discovered alone, they are always found in clusters of two or three, held together by the powerful nuclear force. This is similar to how molecules are made up of atoms held together by chemical bonds. So what precisely do quarks do? They are, as previously said, the building blocks of protons and neutrons, which in turn are the building blocks of atoms. The cosmos as we know it could not exist without quarks. Scientists believe quarks may also play a role in the production of other exotic particles, such as mesons and baryons, which are built up of quark and anti-quark pairings. 
outro with our adventure across the dimensions completed, we return to our familiar human scale, the perfect midway ground in this vast and strange cosmos, from the huge world of ants to the subatomic particles of quarks. We've always been fascinated by the grandeur and complexities of the universe, uncovering new wonders at every turn in this channel. It's been interesting to go back in time and explore what's down there, what defines us. We can appreciate the complexity and beauty of our existence as a result of this experience, as well as the importance of comprehending the smallest and largest components that comprise our reality. Let us never cease exploring, learning, and marveling at the wonders of the universe we live in. Thank you for viewing, and we'll see you in the next film, when we'll delve into even more intriguing elements of our world. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to remain up to date on our latest videos and most fascinating topics.